Have you ever wondered if you'd be with someone in life? I have. My name is Emily, and my junior high school days were nothing short of miserable. I didn't have any friends, and I used to sit in one lonely corner of the class, feeling insignificant. They called me names like nerd and weirdo, and the bullying only got worse when high school began. One morning, it was raining cats and dogs, and I was running late for the class. Being late meant facing the teacher's wrath, but what was even worse was the idea of getting punished in front of everyone in school. No, my dress! Whoa, I didn't see that! Out of nowhere, a speeding bicycle tire splashed water on me, drenching my back. I looked up, my vision blurry due to the rain. I saw a boy standing in front of me. Looks like he's from my school. Idiot! Can't he see what he's done? That's fine, I muttered, keeping my head down, refusing to meet his eyes. Boy, rather than disappearing, stepped off his bicycle and started walking behind me. Please take my raincoat. Why is he giving his raincoat to me? Your dress is transparent from behind. What? My cheeks flushed with embarrassment. I wished I could just run to my home. He came closer, placed his jacket on me, and tied the knot on my waist. Why, he is so close. His hands are touching my waist. Remember to breathe, Emily. Breathe. Keep this jacket on until you change your dress. I mumbled a thank you. My voice was barely audible. He nodded and then left with his bicycle, disappearing into the rain-soaked streets. Please, God, make me invisible. I have to go to a new classroom today. I hope I find a seat in a quiet corner where I can blend into the background as always. But as I walked into the classroom, my heart sank. No, 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 no. What is this guy doing in my class? What if he tells everyone about our rain incident? I couldn't stand the idea of becoming the center of attention. I secretly prayed that he wouldn't remember my face. Please, God, help me. Oh, man. The raincoat boy is coming towards me. Why, why is he walking towards me? Hi, I am Ethan. Can I sit next to you? The whole class is staring at me. I stammered nervously. Okay. I took a deep breath, hoping that he would change his seat tomorrow. But as the week went on, it became clear that he has no intention of moving. He remained seated beside me, engaging in conversation, asking for pen and books. I have to stop this. All the attention he was giving is making me even more nervous. I have to speak to him about it. I was so nervous while making eye contact with him. Can you please sit somewhere else in the class? Being with you is making my life a bit difficult. Others are staring when you are with me. He looked at me and smiled. I am not going to sit anywhere else. Leaning closer, he put his hand near my waist and moved his face closer to mine. His lips touched my ear as he whispered. I like being with you, and you should get used to people staring at you, because you are very pretty. My heart raced. Did he just do that in front of everyone in the class? I couldn't dare to look at my classmates' faces. With no other choice but to put this to end, I grabbed his hand and took him to an empty classroom. What is wrong with you? You have to stop this. You cannot touch me in front of everyone. This is not appropriate. So can I touch you when nobody is watching? He kept holding my hand, even though I tried to leave. Look, I don't care what everyone thinks. You are important to me. Is it too soon to ask you to be my girlfriend? Girlfriend? Is this guy serious? <sighs> okay, I guess it's too soon. But one day I will definitely ask you out. I was so angry at him, but... Are you okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, I will take that as a yes. He looked so cute while whistling. No, no, I have to be angry on him. Ever since that incident, the entire class has been talking about us, and it made me feel more exposed than ever. Trying to hide by wearing a hat is of no use. I kept daydreaming about various scenarios to escape this situation. Option 1. 
I'd take a month's leave and just stay at home. But knowing my parents, they would never agree. Asking for even a day off was difficult enough, let alone a whole month. I have to think of another way. Option two, move to another school. I could give an excuse that my classmates were bullying me, and my dad would probably transfer me to a new school. It could work, except for one problem. My mom, she might complain to my teacher, who, in turn, would confront my classmate. In the end, I settled on a simpler solution. I would change my seat. It was the best way to avoid him and draw the least attention in the class. The next day, I arrived early and took the first seat in the class. The class topper was sitting next to me, leaving no seat for Ethan. The day went by without anyone looking at me, and it felt like a relief. However, amidst all the chaos going on around me, I had forgotten to bring my homework to class. As the teacher asked for it, I realized I was the only one who didn't submit. I have to leave the class. It's so embarrassing. As I packed my stuff, I saw Ethan also leaving the class. Did he also miss his homework? I doubt it. He is usually careful about his assignments. Did you forget your homework too? I didn't forget it. It's in my bag. I couldn't miss the chance of leaving with you. I was at a loss for words, and my cheeks turned a bright shade of red. I guess my heart skipped a beat today. No one has ever done anything like this for me. He came closer, so close that our bodies almost touched. He did not say anything, just kept staring at my eyes. Neither did I say anything. I simply stood there, feeling a connection I never felt before. We started spending a lot of time together, both in and outside of the classroom. And then I decided that I will be his girlfriend. Filled with excitement, I decided to reach the class early that day. I couldn't wait to propose to Ethan. As I entered the classroom, Ethan was surrounded by classmates, and they were all laughing and talking loudly. I told you I can date her. She's a simple, cute girl. It's easy to get close to her. But she hasn't agreed to be your girlfriend yet. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. I can ask her and she'll say yes today. I quietly left the classroom without anyone noticing. I returned to the classroom late, my emotions still raw. Ethan was waiting for me. I couldn't contain my frustration any longer. Please stop following me. I can't imagine being your girlfriend. Get lost and don't ever try to get close to me. What happened, Emily? Is everything all right? Please talk to me, what's wrong? Emily, Emily, please wait. I ran all the way back home. Please change my school. Please, please don't ask me why, but I can't go to that school anymore. Head is spinning. I should stop drinking and stop partying. I need my coffee before my head burst. Look at the time. I'm going to be late for the meeting. Gotta run. Emily, you are late. The client is waiting. This is Rio, my best friend in office. I'm sorry. My head is still dancing to last night's music. Let's reserve our weekends for such adventures. You're right. Same dialogue, different day. Okay, okay. I will take my words back. Hurry to the meeting room. You've got a presentation. Working in an ad agency isn't as easy as I thought. Emily, you are working late again? Yes. I need to present this proposal to the boss tomorrow morning. Want a party tonight? No, I want to prove Rio wrong. At least for a day. Okay, see you then. Looks like it's gonna rain tonight. Oh, I don't have an umbrella. Let's head down and catch the last bus. Oh God, how to reach the bus stop now? Please take my umbrella. Sorry, do I know you? No, but look like you are in need of an umbrella. Thank you, but what about you? It's all right. I'm heading inside the building. You can take it. Thank you. Shit, my bus. Thank you, Emily, for the proposal. The client is going to love it. I hope so. Let the weekend begin. Hey there. Mind if I borrow my umbrella? It's pouring. Oh, the umbrella guy. What are you doing here? Same like you. Starting my weekend. But I didn't like the place. I am heading out. Really? Come with me. I will make you fall in love with this place. My head is spinning. I should stop drinking. What happened last night? 
One cappuccino, please. One cappuccino for Emily. Emily, huh? So that's your name. He doesn't know my name? Has he been following me? What are you doing here? Wait, do you also work nearby? Yes, Emily, my workplace is nearby. Um, I wanted to ask something. Did we... Did you drop me home the other day? So you don't remember anything? I need to rush for my meeting. I'll give the details later. Emily, your coffee is here. Damn, this guy. Umbrella guy? What is this guy doing here? Does he work here? Thank you, Emily and team. We loved your proposal. We are having an office party tonight. Why don't you guys join? I'll introduce you to our senior management. We definitely be there. Thank you for the invitation. See you tonight. Hi, Emily and Rio. Thank you for coming. Pleasure is ours. You came right on time. Let me introduce you to some of our senior management. This is Rachel, Vice President Sales. This is Peter, Vice President Technology. And this is Ethan, Vice President Marketing. Ethan? Let Rio and me get some drinks for you guys. So Ethan, you left without saying what happened the other day. Listen, I want to keep things clear. Relax. Nothing happened, Emily. I just dropped you home and left. Thank God. It doesn't generally happen to me. I don't know what happened that day. I think we should go out again. Sorry, I can't. I don't like this name, Ethan. I know I might sound stupid, but I can't date a guy named Ethan. Emily, it's been so long. Nice to meet you after nine years. Ethan, you are Ethan. Let's talk outside. You knew that I am Emily. Yes. When I first gave you my umbrella, I had a feeling that I knew you. The day I dropped you at your house, I saw your childhood photo. It was clear that you are my Emily. You are still playing your silly tricks. Acted as if you didn't know my name. Just stay away from me. I don't want to be anywhere near you. Emily, what happened back then? Wait, Emily, Emily. I am not here on a date. Come to the point. What happened in high school that day? Why did you leave school during mid-year? I was worried about you. Worried? Don't think so. You were making fun of me in front of your friend. That day, I came early to the class to express my feelings for you, and then I saw you making fun of me in front of your friends. I am sorry. I wasn't making fun of you. I was just a high school kid trying to be cool in front of my friends. That wasn't cool. It was condescending. I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I was always liked you and I missed you a lot. I want to be with you forever. Holding on with all that you got Giving up on the heaven of nuts If you love us, do subscribe us here and watch the next story.